not over. <clears throat> Worlds, realities, infinite possibilities. My name is Monica. Wait, this is Monica? Is it Rose? Rose Parker? Who is she? Who am I? Who is the player? Is it me or is it them? Across a parallel plane. Am I am I but a small role in someone else's story? Who are they? Living on in another world, dead in another. I am Monica. They are Monica. Good endings, bad endings, which existing in its own pocket of the universe. Alternated realities. A multiverse. Parallels which I can never reach. Worlds where I'm locked away. Worlds where I finally meet the one I love. Multiple versions of me. Multiple versions of this world. This game. Yet I, yet I am me. There is nobody like me. There is nobody like you. This is my retribution. Give me one last memory with you. Uh, well, Monica seems still psychotic. What? No, don't tell me that's it. No, oh, I thought that was it. I was going to say. <clears throat> what is this now? I slowly walk backwards. Not just out of anger. Out of complete fear and disbelief. Wait, did she say all of that? I thought that was like his thoughts or something. Wait. What? It's true. It's all true. No, you're lying. This is some cruel shit you're pulling here, Monica. I wouldn't lie to you, Mikey. Without thinking, I feel my legs propel my body forward. What the... I grab Monica by her arms and push her against the wall, making Yuri and Natsuki scream. How could you do this? Why would you do this? Why the hell would you even think of saying such crap? So she did still do it. She did still cause it. Monica stares down at me. I just won't believe it. I won't. She fucking looked up to you. You were a damn role model for her. My grip loosens. Please, just... Just say this was all a cruel joke. I let go of Monica. I start crying in front of her, half hoping my tears will help her tell me that what I want to hear. Like I said, I wouldn't lie about this. You have the right to know about the things I said. I place my arms back on Monica's arms, tightening my grip once more. Oh god, that looks bad. I close my eyes and start hyperventilating. I'll kill you. <sighs> you killed her. What the hell is happening? Oh my god, don't tell me you're actually killing her. I place my hands around her neck. Monica starts to gasp for breath. Mikey, stop. What the hell do you think you're doing? Suddenly, I feel my arms go limp. Everything turns to slow motion. My body falls to the ground. The last thing I saw before my vision went blank was Monica's tired face. Yikes, that was a dark scene. Oh, God. That was pretty dark. He nearly just strangled her to death. Oh, God. <clears throat> I'm in bed. My own bed. I recognize the feeling of my own sheets before opening my eyes. I sit up and rub my head. Was that all a dream? Wait, that was a dream? I hear a knock at my door, frightening me awake. Wait, that was all a dream? That was still dark, though. It's late, isn't it? Sure is. Sorry if I woke you, woke you, Mikey. Wait, what? Huh? Who said that? Was it me? No, it was me. What? Who? I guess that's it then. I'm officially losing my mind. Check your pocket. My pocket, all right then. I reach in, and to my surprise, a crumpled-up rose petal was in there. What? 
Who put this here? What's going on? Come outside. Alright, voice in my head, whatever you say. I never thought this whole consciousness thing was real. I always feel thought... <clears throat> not feel thought. I always thought it was a thing done in cartoons. But maybe I am going insane. Oh well, I'll <laughs> play along. What is it you wish for? I'm not sure what I want. Do you wish to see her again? Of course. I walk outside, my vision being supported by a full bright mo- What is this song? What the? A trail of rose petals lay on the sidewalk, seemingly leading to her house. Wait, Siori's house? Uh, well, doesn't Monica just have a shitload of rose petals? Why do I think she's, like, leading me somewhere? Like, she's gonna do something in her house. I don't know. I'm a bit more freaked out rather than saddened by my, by this realization. What sick bastard is doing this? What is, and what did they do to deserve it? I almost don't want to follow this trail, but I can't help but wonder what could... Be at the end, waiting for me. The voice in my head no longer speaks to me. I slowly walk forward, counting each rose petal as I go. What do you truly want? I just, I want to live my life as if nothing ever happened. Are you running away from your problems? No, it was never that. I just wish I didn't have to feel responsible for her death. It was never anybody's fault in the end. Things were meant to play out this way. But you have a chance to make it right again. What? How? One. My heart begins to beat as I get flashbacks to that day. The day I lost my first friend. Two. Someone has to be pranking me. It has to be one of the girls. Probably Monica. Or maybe those three boys that talked bad about Sayori once. Did they somehow see me angry that morning? Three. I'm probably going to get jumped or something of the sort. I hear these stories all the time. Four, five, six. Why can't I stop walking? I cl clearly this is a joke. What else could it possibly be? I'm most likely in danger. I should stop walking now. Seven, eight. This is not okay. I could die if I don't turn back. Turn back. Nine, ten. I'm going to die. Turn back. Turn back now. Will this be your way of feeling happy? I don't know. How is anybody supposed to know that? You know what makes you happy? You know what makes you happy. Only you, only you yourself can know that. I am here. Oh, God, Sayori's house. Her front gate is open, and I hear a strange noise coming from inside. We're, we're gonna die. Why do I feel like Sayori's ghost is gonna haunt me and kill me or some shit? I walk up to her front door and find that it's open as well. I decide to let myself in. It's dark, yet I still remember my way around her home. A familiar smell fills my nostrils. Uh, where's her parents, though? <clears throat> it's her smell. I'm surprised it's remained after this long. As I move further inside, I bump into some furniture I didn't expect to find. Strange, have her parents not moved away yet? I assume they did after she passed. The strange noise gets louder and now sounds like music. It becomes clear now. It's coming from her room. I gulp and begin to walk upstairs. Flashbacks are coming back to me. Almost PTSD at this point. But this doesn't stop me. I gently knock on her door which opens up slightly after I do so. Her room is exactly the way... It was left since the day I found her. <clears throat> a song is coming from the from a radio on the desk, explaining the noise from earlier. I take a look around the room, letting the bittersweet aroma fill my nostrils. Everything just smells just like her. I walk further into her room, not caring about the repercussions of breaking into her home. I freeze when I when a slight creak sounds behind me. Ah, oh, I'm gonna die. 
Sayori? Hey, Mikey. I gasp. What? Wait. It's a vision, isn't it? Mikey. A cold chill rushes over me. So say You don't have to be upset anymore. I'm right here. What? Is this real? Th this isn't a, like his dream or... He's like not seeing this in his head? I feel two arms wrap around me. I feel a head rest on my shoulders. Say... Shh. I don't want you to be afraid. Is she... Wait, she's alive? What the... Everything is okay. I'm right here. You have me now. I slowly drop to my knees. Tears are rushing out of my eyes and I begin to sob loudly. Don't hate yourself. You'll always be... You'll always be your own worst enemy. But you can change and become your own best friend. You'll always be able to rely on yourself. Be true to yourself. Don't let your past define who you are now. Be kind to yourself so you can be kind to others. And don't be upset, Mikey. You're finally... We're finally together again. I feel warm lips against my cheek. I reach over and brush my... Brush her face gently, her skin soft and warm. Sayori? Am I... Sayori puts her hand over mine, and I can't help but rub her palm gently. Everything's okay now. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about it, anything anymore. She leans in and kisses me gently on my lips. Every single negative thought seems to slowly slip away from my mind. Her soft lips meeting mine makes my heart race faster than it ever has before. She breaks the kiss and I can't help but bury my face into her shoulder. Thank you. Thank you for giving me another chance. Thank you for giving me one last memory. Oh my god! So this wasn't a joke. She's still alive. She... Oh my god. No, I don't want to cry on camera again. Oh my god. I'm sorry things had to end this way. I hope you can find peace within your heart. Monica, give me one last memory with you. Oh my god. This was crazy. I wasn't expecting that in the end. That she was really going to be still alive. But it took her so long and... I'm just wondering like where she was that whole time though. Where was she the whole time, though? Aww. Oh, what's with all these memories? Oh, my God. All memories of Sayori and everything. For without despair and heartbreak, one cannot know true happiness. Oh, my God, dude. This story, though. That 
that was actually it. Oh my god, that was so sad though. I really like this mod, oh my god. The way how the story just like basically continues after Sayori killed herself in the original game, that's what this mod was really based off of. And really just making this whole scenario that like the club is but like starting to fall apart without Sayori and MC is like depressed I guess. It seemed like he was really depressed. I don't know if he was getting depression or not, but yeah, he was definitely depressed nonetheless. Man. And then that ending, I wasn't expecting Sayori to come back. I didn't I wasn't expecting her to be still alive. My god. That was just really emotional. But I like said this before though. I don't mind the emotional stuff. I really don't. Like I think the emotional stuff is really good. Like if it hits me in the heart, I'm going to like it. Like I like to feel like I like to feel like I was feeling something for it or something. Like, I like to... Sometimes it's actually good to feel, like... Uh... Like, sad for, for like, a character or... Really, anybody. Could be... Uh, I mean, obviously, you should really feel sad for anybody in real life that goes through really serious issues. And... <clears throat> Even same when it comes to uh, video game characters or a movie character or a TV show character. You can always feel sad. Like, it's always like a feeling that you just feel so bad for them. And I don't know. I just like to feel bad for people. And I like to feel bad for, like, characters or people... Not because I like to see them like that. It's just... It's just so sad and I just... Like I mentioned before, I go through depression myself. I I legit have a depressive disorder. So I have to live with it every day. And... It's not like this would affect me in my depression. Like, I know all this stuff in the game. It's not real. And all that. So it doesn't affect me. That's why I still play these. But really playing the emotional stuff. Is like one of the best things I like to. Is like the best things I like to really play. When like certain things get really emotional. Uh, sometimes I just like to let it out. I just like to let out tears. But. I can't do it with a YouTube video. I just can't. I, I, I didn't feel right. When I was, when I teared a little bit in Sayori's ending in the Purist mod. Was it Purist mod? Yeah, it was Purist mod. I just didn't feel right doing that. I didn't want, like, people to maybe feel a little worried or something. Like, I like to show that I'm fine when it comes to the games. Because this stuff won't affect me. It's just really sad. It's just all. Oh. I just think uh, playing playing games that have emotional scenes and stuff. Like, example, the Telltale's Walking Dead. That had some emotional stuff, and I still played it through the very end. <clears throat> and it was a good game, and, like, it's not like... It's not like I enjoyed seeing people being upset. It's just emotional. And sometimes I just like to feel emotional. For feeling bad for video game characters, movies, TV shows, like I said before. I know I'm just rambling on about stupid shit, but... 
I'm just going on with this stuff, but. <clears throat> But man, this was a good mod, though. Like, I liked how the story went out. It was such a good story. Very unexpected ending, too. I re definitely wasn't expecting that. I thought... I don't know if I should say what, it, what I thought was going to happen on happen in case it might trigger people or something i thought the mod was gonna end with mc ended up doing the same as sayori did and then that would have been really emotional <clears throat> but like i said in certain certain games and mods like doki doki mods that i played in the past they're gonna have emotional endings. But it's not like I enjoy seeing like the characters suffer or some shit like that. Like that's cruel. It's just that emotional stories just makes me like it. Cause I like to feel it in my heart. I just do. It's I don't know how to explain it. But I just like to feel it in my heart. Like feeling it so much like i like to feel the emotion but yeah I i'll stop rambling now this mod was simply just fantastic and i really enjoyed it that'll be it for this uh video i'll see you guys in the next doki doki mod possibly uh i don't know i don't know which one i was planning on playing next but i'll see and hopefully for the people that aren't on this channel for Doki Doki Literature Club, I'll get I'll get some kind of uh, some other video going that isn't Doki Doki related. I'm still trying to to just I just need time. <clears throat> All right, so that'll be it. I'll see you guys in the next video.